Hey guys, we are back in uh, my painting studio. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick little, quick little doodle. They're all little quick, quick little sketches. Um, you know, you only got so much time in a day, so you can't really waste your time arting, you know? So things gotta be quick, you gotta get things done. Time is money. Um, today for the holidays, we're gonna skip Thanksgiving and we're gonna go jump right to Christmas. So I was thinking about a Christmas tree. Blue spruce is usually what my family would always get. So that's what I'm going, going with. But as always, just like the last Pop-Tart video, I had to uh, sketch it out. So, you know, just do that. Kind of helps line you up and set you on the road to triumph over this painting. So there's the, you know, the green part, you got the stump. Um, and what most people don't know is blue spruce are actually green. You know, they get their name from the blue Rocky Mountains down in North Dakota. Nobody knows the Rocky Mountains go that far up, but um, that's where these trees originate. They um, kind of, you know, concocted a little seedling to transport them to Pennsylvania to get them to grow here. So they aren't really native species to Pennsylvania. Um, that's why you always find them in farms. But um, that's our sketch. Show you here. You can see that. Got the evergreen looking shape. Um, you know, painting on my, let's see what paper Sarah and she... Set me up with the Strathmore, just like last episode. Um, I get the cheaper paper because she needs all the help we can get. She's got the arches, probably 20 times the price point. You can go to the dollar store and get this. You have to specially order this. And we got our watercolor palette here already. And just like I said, we got our nice horsehair brushes here. Um, as you can see, that's a 6547. And we will start with the brown stump. Sarah's trying to tell me what. Soft bristles? <laughs> Sarah's trying to tell me what to do. Um, she has continued her painting lessons. She just learned to, how to tell which brushes to use, and she's trying to, you know use her cavalcade of knowledge on me. You're gonna go up and down strokes because the wood grain goes up and down, so you want the wood to go up and down, you know? Quick little strokes, quick little strokes. Um, I've also talked about the wiggle wiggle technique, or the swiggle wiggle is what it is. Um, but we're not using that here. Here I'm blending colors, it's like an orangey color. Throwing in a dark brown. There we go. You gotta be careful of the lead because it's cheap paper. If you get the lead wet, it will spread like watercolor and it is not pretty. Yeah, Sarah's over here. I think she has her crayons out. She got one of them 64 packs of Crayola crayons. And she's going through looking at all the colors and seeing what's what. Uh, oh, this video is also, also not sponsored, but this is what we're featuring today. Kick them in. Best soy sauce there is. You know, Mr. Kinko Man, if you are watching, you do a good job. He's got, I don't know how he gets so much soy in the sauce. But uh, we just had three bottles here. Everything else does not touch this stuff. Dollar store and the other one was uh, Juju A Poseidon. It has a fancier bottle, but it does not taste nearly as good. If you're going to Best Food in Town or Eastern Express or any of the Chinese places, they got Kegelman. So we just gotta start filling in the green. Um, and what I use watercolor wise is Windsor and Newton comes in tubes. 
You can usually get this at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, AC Moore, you know, expensive. It can be $15 to $40 a tube, depending on the color. But, um, you know, you pay for what you get. So, you know, just happy little trees, happy little trees. I also paid for a subscription to get Sarah all the Bob, Bob Ross uh, videos so she can watch and learn how to, you know, paint. She's getting there, but there really hasn't been anything worth showing or taking a picture of. So, it's usually what I start my bonfires with. So, I just keep getting a couple different greens. There's three greens in here. You know, no, anytime you go to JB Tree Farm, the trees are not very uniform. So this tree is not uniform. Sometimes half the tree's dead. But I'll show you what I got. All right, there's what I got. It's taking shape, you know. Sometimes things just come together at the last second. And I guess you might as well put a star on top i'm not going to get into how to draw an angel so uh, we'll just go star a little bit easier and you notice when you're really good at painting you don't need multiple brushes because you just know what you're doing you put the paint in the water where you uh, want it where when you first start off with you are you use all kinds of brushes like this is what sarah has this is what she needs to do anything but whenever you have this gift you only need this. Um, and actually, currently, I have no pants on. But um, I started a YouTube channel, and that's for the paid subscri subscription. Um, and that comes on after hours. So, and yeah, maybe, you know, we got Judah. We'll draw a little train going around the base. Try to anyways. I do gotta set up a train for him. Um, but he's just gonna tackle that thing. That train's not gonna have a chance. Gonna turn it on, boom, derailed. But he sure loves watching them. I always go down to the tracks. We see them all the time. Last ones, they scared the heck out of them because they're so big and loud. All right, I think that's probably it. Um, here we go. Yeah, it was about eight minutes. It would have been a lot quicker than that if I didn't have to educate you guys. Um, we got the blue spruce with the star and the train going around. Um, and don't forget, this video is not sponsored by Kiko Man, but if you need soy sauce, Mr. Kiko is your man. Have a good night, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas.